Good morning. My name is Patrick David Bonin. I just finished a series on who I am with uh, 66 videos. And uh, I'm starting a new series now on the psychology of music. I believe that if we have these gifts that were given to us by the Creator, we should use them. Uh, for good because these gifts gives us a, a pedestal to yell off of and what are the messages we're yelling right so and if we have songs that mean things when people listen to them they are going to bring more meaning into people's lives and help them transcend to um, higher consciousness which means also a higher understanding of life which means just doing overall better so uh, I'm going to play the song first and then have some silence so everyone can just listen and th to their own mind about what the song meant. I remember, I have no competence, even though I I channeled this song back in uh, 2011 or 2012 uh, and recorded it uh, like really rough back then when I first uh, wrote the song. And that'll be on my SoundCloud. But we recorded it with Cold Mountain Air, a more professional and mastered version, which is will also be down in the description and uh, yeah this I'm gonna play the song and uh, yeah this is video number one if you like what uh, you see here then you can donate to me you can at this point I haven't set up a patreon or any donation site um, and I will be setting that up soon however if you can email me that you w are interested in supporting the channel at Melatonic, M-E-L-A-T-O-N-I-C, at protonmail.com. And uh, we could, um, I would really appreciate anything that anyone can contribute because in this new world that we're moving into, we need to realize is that we need to vote with our dollars. And if this is something you like, then vote for it. And this is how strong. Oh, Ram is lie. 
been sailing As your sea's been rolling Rolling away So, if uh, you want more time to think about it, just pause the video and I will go on from here. So the first lyric is, how long has, has your ship been sailing? Has your seas been rolling, rolling away, right? And uh, away from what, right? Yeah. For me, it was, I was away from my true path, right? So, um. I'm asking myself this because I'm I'm kind of splitting in two at this point in my life. So, uh, you know, uh, this is when I, I I've pretty much cut alcohol out of my life, at least as far as being drunk out of my life. I still do drink a beer here and there, and it's more just for either celebration or for calming effect. However, that was a big thing stopping alcohol, and then that, with that, I I developed a higher morality around sex and how I. Um, treated women. I mean, I always treated women well, but I, there was the the lack of shared morality, of what the what I, I took care of my idea of what sexual morality was, rather than ours, whatever woman I was with. So that's something that started to change at that point, and so. And. Uh, the next part is, uh, um, will those waves break you or turn you astray? I, at this point, I'm still, as you can tell, I'm asking myself this. Am I going to get to my true path or am I going to just fall off the edge through this nihilist? There's two sides of me, a nihilist side and the one that wants all this truth and love that comes through this music and through my connections with people. And, um, And um, so the uh, so then the the chorus goes into it says how strong oh must a man be to swim the rivers of his pride when those waters ran his life um, and I. That's me seriously asking the question, like, how strong do I need to be to, to transcend this ego that's causing, that's putting up all these, this ego and trauma that's putting up all these uh, defense mechanisms that's not allowing me to become what I want to be, right? So it's, and then uh, at the end of that chorus, it says, this is like a, that's, this next verse is like a pledge to truth, right? So it's like, 
no longer will those rough waters run my life, right? However, those seas will stay in my mind. You know, when you go through your trauma, you don't forget about it because then it'll come back, right? So that's like, in, you, have to, you have to try to perceive your trauma in a different way so that you can forgive anyone that's around that trauma and forgive yourself for everything that you've done to yourself because of that trauma, right? And so, um, so you, still the seas are in my mind, but then this is one thing I cannot hide. Right? You can't kill the shadow. You can only put the dragon on a chain, right? And that means like it's still there if you really need it. And if you think that you've killed it, what you have it, all you've done is let it off its chain. And that means when something comes up where you are not emotionally able to handle it, that the dragon will attack. And that's not good for anybody. So no longer will the rough waters run his life but the seas remain in his mind. This is one thing he cannot hide. And this next verse is, uh, is these words that he preached, he knew that they were not of his own. So he was, they were, he was told they were written in stone by a man way up in his throne. So that was like an acknowledgement of humility towards uh, my, the songs I've been writing and how they are not my own songs, but... I am, a, I am a receiver and the, the Lord or the creator or the Akashic records, the collective unconscious, all of that stuff is the transmitter, right? And, and that was like, that humility gave me, humility is the precursor to wisdom. And after that understanding, and as I've been continually trying to humble myself, amazing uh, things have been transmitted to me. And so that humility has given me a lot of wisdom. So the song ends off like with right at the beginning again, like, cause it's a cycle. Like we can't, we can never forget to keep that dragon on a chain. Right. And so we have to know that there's a, it's a slippery slope, right? It's exponential. As soon as you start going downhill, if you don't have, are not conscious of it, it'll become exponential and then you'll tumble down that hill fast. So that's why, the, light, the lyrics finish out with how long has your ship been sailing? How long has your seas been rolling? Rolling away. It's still asking that initial question. You should always continue to ask that initial question. Like, am I moral in this situational decision? Always ask yourself that, right? Like, There's the story of the... Uh, the monk and the the uh, the young man and he wants to gain wisdom and the monk says how go and chop wood and uh, just keep chopping and chopping and chopping and when you feel like you've reached wisdom come and talk to me and and so the uh, the young man goes off and he chops and he chops and he's so proud of himself about the house he's learning to stack the wood so perfectly and he's getting all of these like things just downloading as he's working right and that's that's the that's the magic of getting in flow right he gets in the flow and he starts downloading all these ideas and all this wisdom and he's like oh i've just become enlightened right and so he runs over back to the um to the monk and the and he says i believe i've reached enlightenment what should i do now and the monk says continue chopping wood never stop chopping wood much love